Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Chris and welcome to Prison Architect. Um, I don't know anything about this game other than you build prisons. And it looks really cool because I used to love games like uh, Theme Hospital and Sim Tower and stuff like that. And uh, this seems like very much one of those types of games. Looks like a lot of fun. Uh, so I've wanted to play it for a bit, and I just never have gotten around to it, so we're going to do it now. So uh, I guess this is like an intro thing, an intro video. Seems like a lot going on. Uh, very cool. This man needs a priest. Okay, well, there we are. The CEO is calling. Let's accept his call. This is a tough one. There's a prisoner incarcerated at this facility who's been convicted of double murder and just sentenced to death. That's where we come in. We've been contracted <laughs> to construct an execution chamber in time for the guy's big day. Okay. Luckily, I'm up for the task, because I, <laughs> I am a prison architect. All right, uh, this is where I want the new facility to be built. First step with any project like this is to construct the building itself with enough space inside to fit an execution room and a holding cell. Okay, Construct a building to house the execution facility. So let's get started. Construct a new building here. We will also need an entrance to the new execution facility. Okay, Build a large jail door into the south wall. Got it. Foundations. Whoa, look at that. Tells me to click and drag. Very cool. All right, uh, we got building brick, building concrete. Uh, what happens if we do this? Oh. Oh, I have to click and drag it. I got you. Such an architectural novice. Wow. Come on now. I just started. Your workmen are responsible for the construction of buildings. Okay. They'll collect the steel and concrete from this storeroom and take it to the construction site. Wow, look at them go. They'll use those raw materials to build the foundations and framework of your new building. Fascinating. This is the slowest part of construction, so you should plan ahead when building new facilities. While we wait, take a look around. Use the WASD uh, or the arrow keys to move around and use the mouse wheel to zoom in and out. Cool. Check it out. They're just building stuff. They're pretty quick, though. Impressive, boys. Alright, so can I do other things while they're doing this? So I don't, I don't guess I need a. Uh... I can choose between concrete and brick. Oh, dear God. Dogs are freaking out. Time to shut my fucking door so I'm not to listen to that. Okay. Um, Alright, so I need a, a door. A large jail door. Right? Whoa, god damn it. Undo, undo. Undo. I was trying to, like, click and drag uh, to, like, m move. And I did that wrong. Please tell me that that's not actually going to build shit there. How do I delete? How do I delete? Deselect. Deselect. No, god damn it. I'm building doors everywhere. Stop building all the fucking doors! Oh my god, I'm two seconds into the game. I'm already fucking up hard. Alright, uh no. No 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 no. Oh shit. How do I how do I delete something? Son of a bitch. All right. Well, let's uh let's put the door in the one place where it should go. <laughs> I'm surprised it lets you put just fucking doors uh, all over the place. How do I how do I deselect a door? I honestly have no idea. Well, uh, we're gonna build doors forever now. Construct a building to house the execution facility. Didn't I do that? 
Or do I have to do like... Oh, requires entrance. Entrance block. Alright, well the door's in now. Okay, good. We're, we're good to go. We're good to go. Inside the building, I want to sell an execution room. Partition the space by constructing some brick walls. Okay. Brick wall. Brick wall. Brick wall. Brick wall. I really want to know how to delete crap. I don't like all these stupid doors. Uh, booms. Quick build. Uh, how about emergencies? I'd consider this an emergency. Dismantle object. Yes. Get out. 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 Perfect. We've done it. Any moment now, they're going to be getting rid of all these damn doors. Right? Didn't I tell you to build a... Uh... Okay, they're in pro it's in progress. I shouldn't have to, to rush them. Just let them do their job. Everything will be fine. What's what's going on elsewhere in the prison? We've got a uh, we've got an office here. We've got I wouldn't put an office right next to a cell, but eh, it's just me. Now add large jail doors to those dividing walls. You can rotate an object before placement by clicking the middle mouse button or press R. Okay, sweet. I know how to build some jail doors. I'm pretty much a pro at that now. Yeah, build it up. We got a lot of money. $613,000 worth of jail doors to put in. So excited. Storage room's looking a little light. Okay. A lot of cells down here. No one's in the yard. Where are all the prisoners, actually? I don't see any of Oh, they're all eating right now. That's looking good. We now need to designate rooms to those spaces. Design a cell in the smaller area where our condemned inmate will live. It's so sad. But he's probably a, a mass murderer, so I don't feel so bad. Uh, then designate the uh, execution room itself in the larger area. Okay, so we're going to build a cell. Like so. And an execution room. Like so. Those new rooms have requirements before they become functional. Cell needs a bed and toilet. Execution room requires the electric chair. Smack dab in the middle of it. $5,000. Toilet. Let's uh, rotate the toilet to make it make more sense. Look at our little workers. Let's check out some of this stop stuff. Stop? Wow. Uh, I've been playing 8 minutes and 44 seconds. Excellent. Uh, my danger level is low. 45 prisoners say they are well treated. I'm such a wonderful architect. Um, guards. We have 20 guards. 45 of 51 prisoners. Uh, I guess 51 is capacity. We got two minimum security, 40 normal security, three max security. And uh, we're about to have someone on death row, I feel like, once we get done with this stuff. Maximum safe capacity, 51. Shared capacity, 51. Okay, so I'm guessing you can have an unsafe capacity. It's probably possible in this game. All right, so we're just waiting on these guys to uh, throw this door in here. And the toilet. Got some showers down here. Oh, boss man's calling. That's the essentials taken care of, but there are still a few improvements you can make. Okay. It's up to you, though. Those aren't strictly required. It depends on how much you care about your prisoners and their environment. The cell itself could be improved with an outward facing window and a small bookshelf. 
Oh, the facility would look better with a higher quality floor material, like wooden floorboards or mosaic tiles. I feel like wooden floorboards aren't exactly what you would put in uh, a prison. Outside, you could add some lighting and a paved pathway if you think it needs it. He does look a little bit like a creepy serial killer, doesn't he? This is the man in question, Edward Ramsey, a teacher once, You would, would you believe? It's not our place to decide if he deserves this. The law has made that decision. We're just here to do a job. Once you're satisfied the facility is ready, you can begin the prisoner transfer to his new cell. Simply click on the Polaroid in his cell to initiate transfer. All right. We got work to do. I'm feeling nice, so I'm going to make your room... Uh, a little less sad by putting a window in here. Maybe a light, you know? Does it matter where the light goes? Oh, there's already light. You don't need too much light. You can put a bookshelf for you to enjoy your final moments. A little light reading. What is this uh, drawing on the floor here? Some sort of a uh, blueprint, I guess. And why not? Let's put some paving stones down. None of these other outside buildings have uh, paths that go to them. I, I guess that uh, doesn't mean we can't. Oh. Why can't I connect that? I don't know. For some reason, I can't connect this. I'm not sure why. But, uh... We're just gonna make some little pathways. Who knows if anyone will actually use them. Maybe they will, maybe they won't. I guess there's technically already, like, pavement right here. Oh, maybe that's why. Is this lacking pavers? <laughs> I don't know. That sure doesn't look like they put anything down, does it? Maybe they're working on it. All right, well, I'm going to go ahead and initiate prisoner transfer because uh, cause I think we about got everything we need for this guy's room. The chief. I answered the chief's call, but uh, I don't know what, what that was. Don't shed one tear for this guy. He's a stone-cold killer. Guilty as charged. He even confessed. Want to hear his description of what he did? Oh, God. It's juicy stuff. It was around 11 p.m. The lights were already on. I knew she was home. Ugh. Fucking weirdo. Great, so it's making me live out his, uh... His creepy deeds. Ew. Oh. Oh, goodness. Was that his wife? Wow. I knew I'd catch you two here. Edward, I... Don't. Just don't. What are you going to do? I'm going to shoot you. <laughs> Dead. Dead. Got him. All right. Man, this is a graphic game. Okay, Edward, well, you seem pretty guilty. I mean, uh, clear as day, if you ask me. 
deserves every vault he's gonna get. The chief gets off a little bit, I feel like. All men deserve forgiveness, even him. Are you so sure in yourself that you can deal out such final judgment? Look, man, it's my job. Catching your wife with another man is no excuse for what he did. That's definitely infuriating. And he went there with a loaded gun, knowing he'd find them together. That's double premeditated murder. He's done nothing but cooperate with the authorities. This state is making an example of him. If he'd committed his crime 100 miles north, he'd be looking at life imprisonment instead. How is that justice? Do you want a guy like this running free? I'll sleep just fine at night when I know he's gone. Okay. The long walk to his chamber. Good work so far. However, there is one problem. The execution room isn't functioning yet because it doesn't have any power. Oh, shit. We need to connect it to the electrical supply. Ooh, look at this sweet uh, power view. We are now viewing the prison in utilities mode, which shows us the electrical wiring layout for the entire prison. Each building in the prison is connected to the power grid by these thick underground electrical cables. I see the cables. Power is provided to the prison by this substation, which draws electricity from the national grid. As you can see, this entire wing of the prison cells is without power. All of the lights are out. I see, I see. To fix this problem, we first need to switch to utilities mode to understand why the lights are without power. Okay. The nearest electrical cables are too far away. Our engineers can't complete the wiring for this area. Extending electrical cables nearby to cover this wing of the prison. All right, now, okay, utility mode. Electrical cable. We gotta extend them, you hear? Probably gonna need to extend them even more. This whole place doesn't have power. Uh, can I extend them from out here? No, probably not. Should I just run it from here? All the way down? Or should I just start from this place? Does that mean it's like not doable? Why is that? Why can't I extend this? What does that do? It's not tied to any of the grid though. Is what I'm doing uh, even right? Let's wait and see how this pans out before we uh, do anything else. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're good. Does it have to go under the door? There was one death today. I want to see what happened. Who died? Lights aren't the only thing that needs power. Your new electric chair does too. Use the power cables to connect the execution facility to the power grid. I did. I did. Just waiting on the dudes. Electric chair itself uses a special type of electrical item. It requires its own dedicated power line. You'll need to connect it up directly with main cables. Okay, mains cables. Okay. Uh... Let's wait for them to finish. I want to know who died. Who died? Dead. Low risk. What, ha what happened to you? De overdose? What the fuck did he overdose on? Illegal drugs? You dingus. What are you up to down here, huh? Alright, fine. Check on our dudes. Look at all those power cables. Yeah, I could have just totally chained off of that. 
Instead, I just made it uh, a lot longer than I re really needed to. We're almost done, I think. We should test the new execution room at least once before we try it to use it, though. I'm just going to turn it on for a few seconds, make sure everything's okay. Okay. Do it. Oh my god, you broke it. Well, that didn't work. Looks like we drew too much power and tripped a circuit breaker in the power station. The whole prison is dark. Great. We're going to need more juice to be able to handle the power spike that that electric chair generates. Okay. Tell me what to do, boss man. First, we need to turn the power back on. This is a two-step process. Switch the power station back on by clicking on it and selecting switch on in the menu that appears. Okay. Then build three more capacitors so we have enough power capacity to handle the electric chair. Once you've done that, test the electric chair again by clicking on it and selecting switch on in the menu. I'm going to click on you. Switch off. Someone just burped really loud in the, in the game. Look at all these uh, capacitors, dude. Quit burping down there, huh? You did say switch off power first, right? Uh, oh, no, he said switch on. Switch on. Expand the power stations with three new capacitors. Already did that. Test the chair again. Click on it. Select switch on. Okay. So he was talking about switching on the chair afterwards. All right. We need to prioritize the stuff. Oh, I didn't mean to cancel. Here they come. Bring in the parts. Stop, stop, stop. I don't want to follow anymore. Build me capacitors. Alright, here we go. Sweet garbage cans. Pretty nice. Why do I hear so many people eating but no one's in here except guards? Look at all the chefs. What makes these guys high risk? High risk of what? High risk of doing bad stuff? Or high risk of killing themselves? Jobs. No one's got jobs. It's pretty cool. There's a lot of stuff you can do in this game. I like all the little pages and statistics. Alright, so all of our capacitors are good to go. Let's fire this baby up. See what happens. Well done. I believe we are finished with this job. What happens now is out of your hands. We did a professional job, and that's important in our business. Try not to worry about what happens next. Edward coming to say his prayers for the last time. Can I help you? Dot dot dot. Why does he still have blood on his uh, body? Is this like a flashback thing? I thought it was in the prison. Are you looking for forgiveness? I don't know. I have to do something. I can't live with the things that I've done. You have to turn yourself in. Whatever you've done, you cannot evade the consequences. You will never be able to live with yourself until you face up to your past. I want to go back. I want to forgive her. I want her to forgive me. Well, she can't, because she's dead, Edward. God will forgive you, no matter what have done if you ask him to but you must answer for your crimes in the eyes of the law there is no other way sorry edward 
So I guess the uh, there's one priest in this town. He's on call at the prison. It is time, Edward. You have done the right thing, even though this world will not forgive you for it. You will be with God soon, but he will have final judgment on you. Edward, you get to be the first person to try out my brand new electric chair that I built. Just for you! I like the little drawings that they have. What happens if you build an electric chair and try and execute someone and uh, the power goes out? Is that possible? That would be embarrassing. Edward Romsey, you have been found guilty of two counts of murder in the first degree. The penalty is death. Do you have anything to say? Susan, I'm sorry. Zap. Edward has died. Well then. Chapter 2. Palermo. Job's done. Time for a new job. What in God's name is going on? Oh my god! There's a crisis brewing at one of our other facilities! Someone started a fire in the prison kitchen and the priorities to put it out to stop any casualties and prevent more damage. These are emergency services by the tool of our call fire brigade. Alright, I'm actually going to uh, stop this episode here. Um, I'll do this chapter in the next episode. But wow, what a, what a cool little game so far. I really like it. Um, I think. It'll be a lot of fun. I'm impressed, like, how much they go into the the lives of the prisoners themselves. Um, I wasn't expecting that. I was pretty much taking it for just a straight-up um, sim kind of game. And I guess first and foremost it is, but I like the little backstory and how you get to see, you know, the, the past history of some of the inmates and whatnot. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Pretty sweet game, and I'm going to play a good bit more of it. So stick around for more Prison Architect, and we're going to play some other games as well. And uh, make sure to like if you enjoyed the video, and feel free to subscribe if you care to see more stuff like this. I will catch you in the next episode. Goodbye.